Hello, welcome to vlog number 25, maybe? Who knows anymore, the numbers are all blurred. I have started work for the day, but I just thought I'd jump in and start off the vlog because I keep making excuses not to, and I do not want to get out of the vlogging habit. I absolutely love when my vlogs go up and you lovely people leave me comments. So I definitely want to continue on with that. It was a busy week last week with two reading vlogs going up. So much more chilled this week. I don't have any major plans. So it's going to be nice to um, just concentrate on reading really. We have 10 days after the month and I have some ambitious plans. So I just thought I'd quickly talk you through them um, and then we'll see what we can achieve this week. Sort of going in priority, the book I need to read is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware because this is mine and Britney's book club pick. As far as I'm aware, the live show is booked for Friday, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, we may have to push it back. But yeah, I, I need to read this. So this is my number one priority. I'm hopefully going to start this today. I'm not having a lunch break today because I need to run to the post office and that shuts at five. So I'm shuffling my work day forward so I can leg it to the post office after work. Um, so yeah, I'm hopefully going to cuddle up and read this later. My next priority after that, I kind of need to get caught up on my Cassandra Clare. So we have the Shadowhunters Codex and City of Heavenly Fire. This one being a chunker. Both of these I ideally want read by the end of the month, but like I know it, it's probably not going to happen. Whether I can just read the Shadowhunters Codex and leave this absolute whopper. It's a 600 page book. Um, it's just, it just hasn't happened. So whether I can just read the Shadowhunters Codex, let's put that as priority number two. Priority number three, let's say is Crown of Midnight. I need to get caught up with Togalong. I finally read Throne of Glass, so I need to read Crown of Midnight. There are no excuses at this point. So priority number three. Then let's go with Ted Bundy, Conversations with the Killer. This was one of my TBR jar picks and I really do want to read it. I just keep putting it off. Then we'll go City of Heavenly Fire. Then we'll go Trashy Adult Fantasy Romance of Divine by Mistake by PC Cast. So a lot to be done. We can do it. We've done it before. This can happen in 10 days. <sighs> do I have any plans this week? I'm on India Sprints on... Thursday because it is actually India's birthday today but that really is it I don't think I have anything else planned maybe a picnic with Josie on Saturday so that'll be lovely because we're allowed now um depending on the weather we're gonna go sit down by the river and have a quick picnic probably some gin involved who knows um but yeah I need to get back to work really I just wanted to kick this off hello quick pause we're still on Monday I've just had some book mail this is a very interesting way to package it fair enough but this is from bookswap so even though i'm technically on a book buying ban it doesn't count um i won't go on about bookswap again if you have not signed up to bookswap i will make sure my link is in the description um and if you order a book i get a free book which means i get to do more book mail unboxings on this channel because i do use all the points i get oh my god oh very cute little happy reading note how lovely this the lady was so nice um i asked for photos of the condition it was in because it wasn't listed as as being that great um and she sent a little video <laughs> oh my god okay the spine is more broken than i would like um especially if she didn't mention anything about the spine but it's house of scouter by vincent I don't know how you pronounce that. This is the book about the Manson family. And oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so genuinely excited. And I believe Brittany has this. So, God, it's a chunker. It's over 600 pages long. But I'm trying to get more into true crime. This is definitely a hefty true crime story. So it's the true story behind the most infamous mass murder case ever. On 9th of August, 1969, seven people were found shot, stabbed and bludgeoned to death in Los Angeles. Is that how you say that, Los Angeles? Okay. America watched in fascinated horror as the killers were tried and convicted, but the real questions went unanswered. How did Manson make his family kill for him? What made these young men and women kill again and again with no trace of remorse? Did the murders continue even after Manson's imprisonment? Um, including a chilling 64 page photographic record of the victims, the evidence and the killers. Oh my God, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I am always taking part in those debates about um, whether Charles Manson 
was a murderer. Um, I can't wait to read this. I really can't. Okay, guys. It is far too early on Tuesday. I didn't even know Royal Mail could come this early. I mean, they did. It's past nine. Um, but we have a big parcel with a customs declaration. I can't even say it. Declaration. Yes. Started in China. So this must be Romwei. Um, I was confused because it said coming from super smart service, but it's wrong way. It has to be wrong way. And it is. But what have I even ordered? Do we remember? So it has to be a fashion show really, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got to be. Hello. So, um... I did do a little fashion show couple clips and have deleted them because I, I am keeping every single item apart from the extra top but it's all stuff that I'm like more comfortable just wearing by myself and then when I have a full outfit and I've like made an effort I may go outside in them but they're all they're all gonna need like confidence they're all very confident items probably sounds silly but I was just talking you through them because I do want to show you some of this stuff I got this loungewear set so it comes with a little crop and big shorts um for like six pound and it looks so cute it's probably my favorite thing that I've had from this order I've already sent selfies to like all of my best friends um so yeah really happy with those then we got these Chinese dragon sweatpants which I don't know if you know I'm four foot eleven so it's very difficult for me to find bottoms that fit me um especially when they're supposed to be full length and these do so I guess they're supposed to be cropped on normal size humans but absolutely love oh then the the least offensive item is this little crop t-shirt with the little waves thingamy bob on it really like this it's comfy I will wear it probably everywhere then we have the tops I had two of this like bandana Thing, and it's hardly got any back you can see why I wouldn't want to put this on YouTube but I will probably wear that with a pair of high-waisted shorts when it gets very very warm if that happens especially if I manage to see coal in the summer that should be nice then I got this it's advertised the tube top I don't know what people will call them but it's not very big at all and it has sun moon and stars if I haven't mentioned it in any videos lately I have a sun of moon tattoo so I like anything with the sun and moon on it in that sort of style um, again, it's a potential with high-waisted shorts, but it'll probably be with high-waisted jeans and like a shirt over the top because it is, it's not much to it. Then the most like out there item for me is this sheer black top with the sun and moon on it. So you can see completely through it, um, but I thought it was cool. So don't know how I will ever wear that, but I will somehow. And finally, my phone's telling me I have no battery, we have this wrap around top. So you put it on as a shirt and then it just ties with this teeny bit of fabric. It doesn't cover much at all. So again, I think it's gonna be a, a with a bikini item, potentially, but yeah, not an, not an everyday, definitely not a popping into the office top. So I am gonna keep everything, I'm really happy. I got all of that for about 40 pounds, so I'm fine. And I have this extra bandana top that I'm gonna stick on eBay probably. Probably get back to work now. This is an interesting angle that I'm not sure will repeat, but I just got a package. Um, I was confused because I now recognize the Hermes woman um, and I saw the Amazon box and was baffled. Um, but this is just a good example of somebody reusing packaging. I don't say it to sound mean, the driver is definitely a heavy smoker and it's coming across on my parcels now. It's really picked up on the top of this, so let's just hope that the book inside is fine. Because that would be such a shame. It's much smaller than I thought it would be, but it is Even If We Break by Marie... Marie... I feel like the last name was pronounced Nijik. I don't, I thought I knew. Um, I really did think I knew how you pronounce this. So the book seems fine, but yeah, not perfect. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is one that I've seen floating about on um, 
booktube and i got it on bookswap for the delivery cost so all good and um, this is five friends go to a cabin four of them are hiding secrets three years of history bind them two are doomed from the start one person wants to end this no one is safe are you ready to play we're not going to look more into that we're just going to go with that and yeah i'm really really excited to get around to this i have to go back to work now though because i've got quite a lot of stuff going on but wanted to show you my parcel okay so it is a wednesday it's a about 20 past one ish i just had two massive boxes like i can't even pick this one up to show you <laughs> it's huge um potentially going to be the most boring haul i've ever done because it's from ikea <laughs> so it's just a few home things but i feel like i need to show you um so when i made my big ikea order with all my furniture they were like oh yeah you can have your little decor items a month later don't really know why it was so much later seeing as I paid about 40 pound for delivery but it's finally here aha we're in this also just means i'm gonna have a very horrible trip to the communal bins because have so much recycling like so much recycling okay so we have did i get four of these oh wait no i didn't okay so i've got two of these little boxes i don't know what i'm going to use them for chocolate in the cupboard i don't know everything in here is pink i should have specified we've then got two of these boxes with lids again who knows what i'm using them for but we've got pink boxes then this should be four pink drinking glasses so let me skip me opening all of these okay it potentially took them a month to package this box up we then have four little pink photo frames um i don't know what i'm going to put in them yet but i was thinking of doing a nice little like set them out in a square don't know they were cheap bright pink bath mat it's definitely not the pink i wanted but it's pink wait well, this is wrong. We now have two. Oh, these are my rugs. <laughs> I thought they had two more back, uh, two more bath mats. We have two pink rugs. Definitely the pink I wanted, and then two pink bath towels. <sighs> this is a lot of recycling. Uh, I'm gonna have to package everything, package all my recycling in this box, and just take it out in like a week when it's full. I do have another order, but we're gonna tidy up here, and then I'll show you my other stuff. It's not IKEA. Okay, now we have what I'm really excited for, and that is from Typo, because who doesn't love ordering from here? I have never even heard of them, and now I've made about 20 orders, I swear to God. And if you spend £25, it's free delivery, so you can never just get one thing. I did see that one thing I had in my basket definitely didn't make it onto when I paid, so that's really annoying, because I was really excited for it, and I checked again this morning, and it's not there, but I didn't pay for it, so it's fine, there must have just been some sort of fault as i bought it i'm not going to be able to show you everything in here and i will explain that when i get to it but there should still be some really fun stuff more recycling what the hell okay so they've not put i'm supposed to have a mystery box and they've not put the mystery box in a separate box so i can tell you i have a massive dice that i didn't want but I can't see where my stuff is. Okay, I'm really annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed. Because I had a whole video planned. I'm just, I guess I'm trying not to look. Okay, so there's my wasted money gone on a mystery box. Maybe I'll be making a rant review video of that. But I will show you the stuff I actually asked for. We have some duck socks that I'm going to be giving to my dad because I like to buy him really brightly coloured socks. And a wireless shower speaker because I had one at my mom and dad's and my dad used it. And then I moved out so he couldn't use it anymore. So these are for my dad's birthday present. I then got myself an A5 dotted journal. Uh, the dots are really, really tiny. I've never had a dotted journal before. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. And the dots are far too small. But the actual journal is cute. I'm just in a mood because that is so crap. So crap. Um, I've then got a notebook that says, oh, bollocks. Well, I don't swear on my channel. I'm upset with myself, but come on that's too funny and then this bag that is advertised as a um a book i think it just says a book tote not quite sure but it seemed cute so it's just a, a little 
polka dot tote bag with a crossbody strap. I'm so mad. Why is it, how is it so hard to package them up separately and actually make the stuff in there any good? You will see what I mean. Um, coming to you in about a month, because that's what I'm scheduling it for, will be a rant review unboxing. So I guess I'm gonna film that now. I haven't long got up. I've started work. We have another parcel from Romwood. These will not be tried on. Um, three of them would not be YouTube appropriate, so I'll just show you. Okay, let's start out with the one YouTube appropriate thing, which has actually come in a Shein bag, and it's the only reason I made the order with Romwood. So they need to figure out who, who they're selling. And it is this long skirt, but it has one of those slits in it on the front, on the thigh, um, perfect for when it starts getting a bit warmer and you're allowed outside, so like now. Um, yeah, I got really into these last year, so I wanted to get another one and it was like £7.50, so I couldn't help myself. Next is something that I used to see people wearing. It, they're definitely not like in fashion anymore, but it's one of those, I won't show the whole thing in case, I don't know, somebody gets offended, I don't know where they would, but it's a halter neck um, kind of bralette because I'm used to seeing people with the big halter neck thing with like summery tops. Um, so I wanted to grab one of those. Then we have two swimming costumes, well, bikinis. Oh, this is cute. So look at that. Oh my God, that's adorable. And then the bottoms to match that. I went for like some high-waisted bottoms. We have some big high-waisted bottoms here. And then one more swimsuit. I feel like I'm just alternating between English and American every time I explain these. Okay, this is cute too, same kind of deal, but blue with big blue pants. So I'm gonna try all this on and then go back to work. Hello, so it's nearly seven o'clock on Thursday night. I'm about to go on India Sprints. I will try and catch up with you after that because I'm gonna try and finish the lying game. So I wanna give it a bit more until I give some thoughts. Um, but we have a package. This, I believe, is from Tandem. Um, I didn't get it as quick as I should have because it was one I signed up to before I left my mom and dad's house. So it got delivered there. And um, so my dad's just come down on his bike to pop it through the window. So it is the book from Tandem. I think I'm like slightly disappointed for no reason because of how many readathons people, not readathons, read-alongs people do. And they get like little treats or like a little pack of information that comes with it as well. Um, but we do just have the book. It's a gorgeous book. I'm still so, so grateful for doing it. Oh, and there's questions. Oh, this is cool. I take it all back. The questions are in the book. <laughs> How exciting is that? It's um, His Only Wife by Peace Ad Peace Adso Medi? Med I will learn how to pronounce that properly. Um, this is the first time of me like saying the author's name, so I, I will learn that. Um, but this is, it says, A Crazy Rich Asians for West Africa with a healthy splash of feminism. Um, I believe it's set in Ghana. Afi, I'm going to have to learn to pronounce things. Afi Tekpli, te Tekpli, Tekpli is a young seamstress in Ghana. She is smart, she is pretty, and she's been convinced by her family to marry a man she does not know. Alikem Ganyo is a wealthy businessman whose mother has chosen Afi in the hope that she will distract him from his relationship with a woman his family claim is inappropriate. Marrying a stranger seems a small price to pay in exchange for financial security for her family and the lifestyle she's always wanted in Accra, Ghana's gleaning capital, a place of wealth and sophistication. But when Afi arrives in the city, she realises her fairy tale ending might not be all she had hoped for. Her days are spent with nothing to do but cook meals for a man or may who may or may not turn up to eat them. So yeah, I'm so grateful to get a free book that, like, this is mental to me, the fact that I've been sent this for my opinion because of Bookstagram as well, which I don't really use. So really happy about it. Um, in the first couple of pages, we have Ghanaian, is that how you'd say it, Ghanaian um, phrases? So there's a couple of things. Baba is I'm sorry. I like that, but yeah very very happy with that and it's it's not that big of a book it's less than 300 pages i believe we're starting this on the 31st it's going to throw all my tbrs off it's fine it's fine i think i know where i can plop it into my tbr and it's it is gorgeous isn't it anyway i need to get ready for the reading sprints okay so as i moved to go and join the sprints 
Amazon came. This is a massive box and it's so light. Like it's genuinely, I don't, it's 0 0.7 kilos. I need some scissors, but I have no idea what this is. Actually, as I will, I'll talk about it if it's not the one thing that I know is missing from my wish list. Um, but yeah, we will see first. But you definitely wouldn't need a box this big. I've got so many boxes, I don't need more boxes. Paper. It's this big for one book. Why? Oh my God. Who has sent this to me? Sarah. Hi Chloe, just seen in your weekly vlog that you love the one, so wanted you to send this one as a gift. Thank you for all the great videos. Oh my God. And that's What Lies, with, Lies Between Us by John Mars, which yeah, I would have added to my wish list two days ago, maybe even yesterday. That is so, so nice. Sadly, it's all beat up because it's been in that massive box. Like, who would have thought that? I'm I'm stalling because I'm like, I, I don't know what to say. Sarah, so lovely of you. I will drop you a message as soon as I can. As I said, I'm just about to hop onto those reading sprints, so we'll do it as soon as possible. Who knows why that box is so big? That really confused me. Um, so this is the author of The One, which I read last week and gave five stars. Absolutely loved it. Did I give it? Yeah, I did give it five stars, didn't I? Absolutely loved it. Um, and Christina told me that this one really, really, is really, really good. I think it's her favorite book of last year. I might be making that up. And then somebody else commented that they couldn't, they DNF'd it because it was too scary. So I am intrigued because it takes a lot in a book to scare me. So we've got that one now. Thank you so, so much. The one thing I will quickly say just before I jump on the sprints, which I forgot to mention, it's hopefully going to be the last time I mention it. I want to stop worrying about it, but it's it's really bothering me um, that me, my dad and the end of the rainbow has disappeared from my wish list. And I only know that because I went to buy it for myself and it said I'd already purchased it. Um, so it's not on my wish list anymore, but it's not here. I have spoken to one of the neighbors and he said there is a problem with parcels being stolen if they're left out in the corridor. So it could be that the Amazon driver put it by my door and didn't ring the bell or something like that, or I was in the shower, all of those things. Um, so please, 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 if you've bought me that book and you think I've just forgotten to thank you, that's not the case. I, I don't have it as well. If someone's bought me that book and then they're like, because this is what I do. I like to buy people books, wrap them and post them. So if you've done that and I just keep saying, who's bought me this book? Then like, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I obviously I'm so, so grateful every time I get a gift. I've said in last week's vlog, I definitely remember saying it, because I sit here and open packages, please do not feel that you have to get me something so that I open something from you. Sarah, I'm so, so grateful. That's not me saying, don't do this, Sarah. <laughs> but thank you so much for this one, I promise. But I always feel a little bit um, overwhelmed when I get gifts. I am considering taking my Amazon wish list off public for a little while. Um, just because I do feel so like I'm so overwhelmed. It's so lovely. I'm so grateful. And um, it's, it's a lot to keep up with to be so excited every time. Like I do just cry with the fact that people want to be this nice to me. And I'm going to stop talking one because I'm now late to um, the sprints and two because I'm just going to get emotional. Okay, attempt number three for, of filming this update for various reasons. I suck at technology apparently. Um, it is half nine right now. I'm still on India sprints, but I finished The Lion Game during the second sprint. Um, and I'm a little bit tired, so I didn't really want to start another book. Instead, I've been doing all the like bookish admin stuff, like writing my review on Goodreads and um, logging the two books I got today in my journal, things like that. Um, just bookish admin. Um, so yeah, just quickly, The Lion Game. I'm not going to give a full review here because I will be doing my live show with Brittany where we give both of our opinions, so I don't want to monopolise it now, um, but you will definitely hear more in my wrap up. So three stars. I really enjoyed the characters. Um, I was enjoying finding out all this, like the stuff about their personalities. I was going to say character development. I don't think they really develop, but I did like the characters in this book. It was a bit hefty. It did not need to be this long for a thriller. Um, and the actual plot was very predictable for me. I guessed it pretty early in. As soon as certain characters were introduced, I got it. Um, 
so yeah nothing surprised me and even like this big surprising thing that happened was hinted at so just wasn't surprised um not my favorite Ruth wear but definitely not my least favorite so three stars I'm gonna one haul it I don't need to keep a mediocre thriller but yeah this one is gonna be gone and um, what I did realize I'm an awful human I looked out for Sarah's um socials and I don't know what, um, what your socials are, Sarah. So if you're watching this vlog um, when I've got this, please do leave me a comment so I can thank you because I can't find you. I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like an absolutely awful human, but I don't want to say it again. I'm so, so grateful. I need to thank you. And I don't know where you are. I can't find you. Um, so yeah, please do let me know your socials. That's really it, I guess. So for now, I'm going to leave it. Tomorrow, I'm going to start reading Crown of Midnight. I don't know whether there's any sprints going tomorrow or whether I should host some. I don't know. Well, you'll know by the time this goes up. So there's no point me asking your opinion. But yeah, what do I do? It's Friday. It's 11. I've had a meeting this morning that didn't go perfectly, but like it was fine. And then I've just spoke to my favourite client who obviously doesn't know he's my favourite client because that would be weird. And I told him he was lovely. I think I'm on the verge of a breakdown. Hello, it is Saturday morning, kind of. It's nearly 12. I didn't get out of bed till 10 and all I have literally done is order 12 books from eBay. So, you know, not the most productive morning. I don't really know what I'm doing with myself. I'm a bit all over the place. I was going to watch Rhiannon's and Karis's sprints last night. I did one sprint of Crown of Midnight and I read 44 pages. Um, then Corpse Husband started streaming Among Us, so I went to watch that because the things I would do just to hear that man's voice, like, I don't care. So was sat listening to that, and then Cole decided he wanted to watch anime, so we watched um, a couple episodes, five episodes, of Domestic Girlfriend, which I kind of am enjoying. Um, then I watched two or three episodes of Pretty Little Liars. I've gone back to season one and I'm starting from the beginning again, like as if I need to. So did that, then hopped over on Discord and I got Josie, who is my best friend from childhood and like my, if my friend in England. Um, I got her to join the Discord chat with all the Americans and oh, it was funny um, because obviously she has met Cole, like they spent a little bit of time together but they don't talk so it was I don't know why but like at one o'clock this morning I was almost having a bit of a cry because it was just like oh my best friend and my boyfriend could speak and yeah I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me um but yeah so that all happened I probably went to bed about two um finally dragged myself out of bed at 10 and I'm meeting Josie for a picnic in a couple of hours so really I need to get dressed and then just sit and read as much of this as I can until I go out. I have scheduled some reading sprints for later at seven. I don't know what to do because I was watching um, Wanderness. I always never know whether to call her Ness, Vanessa, what, yeah, I was watching her reading sprints. Um, I don't think she watches my vlogs, but if you do, let me know. What should I casually call you? <laughs> um yeah and she did some reading sprints by herself which was really in the start it was odd to think I would do that but I actually think it would help me read quite a lot it would be more for actual reading not for like being social um which obviously we do a lot of reading in the social ones but I actually think tonight I might do it and even if I just do a couple of hours because I can do a quick 10 minute chat read for like 45 or however long um but then the chats would be very minimal time and it would go straight back into reading and that's what I need this weekend because I've got a lot to read and I still have so many books on my TBR that just aren't gonna happen but yeah I need to do some intense reading so I'm, I might have to do that um but then I don't want to upset anyone it's not that I don't want to hang out I just want to read and I'm not reading without the motivation so yeah I don't know I don't know what to do I also don't know what to wear it feels like a big deal going for a picnic with Josie it feels like I've got to make an effort because I haven't really left the house that much at all um so yeah what do I wear I don't know I don't know what the weather's like <laughs> 
it's so stupid I just can't wait to sit like on a pic on a bench and you know it's silly really it's silly but I'm excited I am out of breath I just managed to get two yo sushi wait for my order because I was early and get back in 30 minutes I have never ever had yo sushi before and I now do have the amount to feed a small family it's a big bag um, I've only got this because I had a voucher sent to me, um, £5 off if I spent £25. So I did, even though I wouldn't normally spend £20, I still thought it was a good deal. So I'm going to try and identify what these items are. So I have an actual meal that I wanted, a children's full meal and some fries, I think. Oh, children's meal, we have a little, little juice. Um... Okay, what's this one? Oh, chicken. Smells good. That's for the kids' meal, I think. Uh, oh, some edamame. Is that how you say it, edamame? That was in the kids' meal. Oh, the fries. Oh, they look amazing. Oh, they look so good. Mmm. Yo sushi might have to come a regular thing. That is amazing. So those were on their own. Concerned? Not sure. Ooh, pancakes in the kids' meal. I really paid £1.50 for that. That's upsetting. Um, oh, and this was the kids' main meal. So this is... It says enjoy me within two hours. We both know this is going to be left till tomorrow. So the kids' meal might actually be bigger because... I got this whole thing for myself, so um, I might have overestimated how much I could eat. Oh well, I'm about to go live by myself. There are already people in the comments. Mm, I'm scared, I'm so scared. Hello, I am still sprinting and it's going so well. I'm really enjoying being here on my own. People are really interacting in the chat. There's not like a silent moment. Absolutely loving it. I'm just having some more sushi because I definitely bought too much. So I'm off camera. Um, I'm not gonna try and use chopsticks for people watching me. And if I try and eat with my fingers, it'll be even worse. So we're four minutes into a 30 minute sprint. I'm gonna try and polish this off pretty quickly. Enjoying Crown of Midnight a lot more. It's really, really picked up. So yeah, it's going well. Um, I wonder how it, like, I don't know. I'm still stressed. It's still weird to be here by myself, but I am enjoying it. I'm now gonna eat this really quickly. Otherwise I'll be, my camera will be off the whole time. Okay, so I had such an amazing night doing the sprints. Um, I could cry. If I ever need a confidence boost, I just need to go back and look at those comments. Um, so, so lovely. I'm I'm really like shaken up by it just because people were so nice and saying that I made them feel comfortable and they loved the vibe, felt like they were reading with a friend. Um, yeah, it just makes me so happy because that's all I ever want my channel to be. I know I'm not the most polished creator. I'm not making the best thumbnails, um, but I just want people to be able to come to my channel and feel like they're talking to a friend about books. That's only ever been my aim um a quick book update before i go to bed crown of midnight i'm on page 380 so i'm very close to the end but i am going to save this for tomorrow when i'm on mal sprints <laughs> somebody in the sprints did think i meant mal reads i'm not that cool <laughs> no offense to a book fiend named mal whose channel i am on um but yeah i'm not on mal reads's sprints um yeah i need to get in bed I'm so tired um yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just shattered. Hello, it is early on Monday morning. It is about half eight. Um, I've been struggling to get out of bed in time for work. So the fact I'm actually out of bed before that is baffling to me. Um, but yeah, I'm up. 
saying that it's Monday, we shouldn't be doing this vlog. It's me, I haven't wrapped it up. I actually don't think I vlogged that much yesterday, so I'm sorry about that if I didn't, but I feel like this is gonna be a pretty long vlog anyway. I feel like I've just had pointless updates. Um, but just to update you on my reading yesterday, I wanted to read the whole of Ted Bundy, Conversations with a Killer. I got up to page 174 in the end, so just about halfway. Um, this is fine. I don't know how to review it. So in terms of people sitting down and talking to Ted Bundy, it is the most interesting thing I could ever read about Ted Bundy. But as an actual book for enjoyment, I don't like it. Um, it's just interviews typed out, which, yeah, is amazing that they have these conversations with Ted Bundy. But why don't you, for a book, tell me the situation then tell me the questions you asked him and his answers. Like, I feel like I know quite a lot, especially when they say about the, is it Chai Omega or Omega Chai or something? The sorority house stuff. I feel like I know so much detail about those cases, but I, I also don't. Like, I think I know, but I don't. So why don't you tell me the full case and then tell me the questions you asked? Um, and I feel like that would get more enjoyment from me rather than just him explaining the emotions of somebody who would do that because the way they actually got him to talk about what he did is to get him to tell it in the third person and to talk about this entity this person that would be able to do these things what would they do what would they feel about it how would they go about everything how would they go about getting caught how would they go about running away and so it is really good how they got him to talk but like I don't care for it as a book but I'm enjoying it um what I'm actually gonna do is uh, be passing this one on to Molly because they want to read it so I'm gonna be dropping it their way as soon as I can I, I want to do it this week I'm going to the post office tomorrow anyway so come on Chloe you can read this today um but yeah you don't need to know all that because that'll be in next week's vlog but if you have got to this point please leave me there's no particular emojis this week. Should we have a fruit? I posted a photo last night of me eating my Japanese custard pancake things with strawberries. It's cute. I'll have put the photo on the screen because I was really proud of how that turned out. Um, but yeah, so leave me some sort of fruit in the comments if you got this far. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. It really does make my heart so full. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.